What's going on, collectors? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter, okay? Now, we're going to jump right into your energy and see what is the most important messages that is going to be surrounding your overall energy right now. Let's see. Let's tap in and see what is your overall energy right now, currently. I don't know why these cards. Oh. Let's see what is your current energy. I feel like maybe you mixed up. Like you got a lot of shit going on, like these cars. All right, maybe you got a lot of interruption or just mixy. I'm getting mixy. Like there's a lot of mixy shit happening right now for you guys. Okay? So, Spirit, Guardian Angels, Archangel Michael, and Alegra, protect me as I channel this message and use me as a clear channel to deliver the most important messages that is regarding my collective energy right now. Unlimited possibilities and alignment. <laughs> somebody rolling the dice. All right, so somebody is getting back into alignment, about to take a risky, a risky motherfucking chance and rolling the dice at something. All right, this is going to be like a one in a lifetime thing I'm hearing. All right, so Spirit, what do I need to know about this energy for the collective? Please and thank you. Damn, somebody's sad about that risky. Somebody is sad about that risky chance that somebody is going to make. Um, they are not too happy. This is definitely a relationship that did not work, at, work out, that is unsuccessful. And um, somebody is just grieving a loss right now. They, they're going through a loss. Spirit, tell me more about this five. Of, it, and, you know, five signifies a major change. I feel like, thank you, Spirit. What I'm getting with this... Um, what I'm getting with this, don't this look like a judge, right? Like, like a person with those, with the, with the, with the robe thing on, right? So I feel like they had a poor judgment of character or they, they judge somebody character wrong or something like that. All right. It's something where they judge something wrong or thank you spirit. So maybe what I'm getting is, all right. So say if you went to this person like in a relationship, like this was your spouse, whatever, man or woman, and you went to talk to this person, instead of giving you good vibrations, they gave you a lecture. They act like a judge instead of your spouse. So when you needed times of support, when it comes to a union, when it comes to your mate, you didn't get that. Instead, you got a lecture. Okay, rather than a fucking moral support from your partner. And right now, somebody is realizing that they judge somebody's character really, really wrong because they didn't give them the vibrational healing that they needed. They gave them a lecture like a fucking judge. And the only judge is the higher power and the most high. All right, so that's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see why this energy is here. Somebody didn't give off good vibrations. They they just was very critical. All right? And now somebody got left because of that. Spirit, tell me more about this energy, please. Love. Because somebody left. Somebody took, the, took their future in their own hands. Because every time they went to this feminine. Now, you know how I like to talk about the divine feminine and masculines if I see it in the picture. Remember, we all got both within us. But I see a divine masculine has a plan. The two of wands is a plan being put into motion because now you see, you have a vision. Okay. So I feel like this probably, what is this? So this person could be 52. All right. With this five and this two. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I got a fucking zoom. But with this five. So with this five minutes too, it could have been somebody that's 52 or around 52 or five, six, seven or seven years, but there's a major change. So whether you 52 or not, somebody was coming to a feminine energy or this could be anybody, but a masculine was coming to somebody to ask them for love, support, uh, maybe a uh, um, goddess, right? Structure. And even if they didn't really say it in that kind of way. This person probably relied emotionally on other people and didn't really know how to express it. But instead, 
it begins to come a problem because every time they pour their heart out emotionally with these cups, they got the back end of the stick. Instead of high vibration, vibration, they got lectures. All right. So now they're in the two of wands energy. Like I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my love and, and and my thoughts and my fears and my emotions in my own hands because talking to everybody else that I was speaking with only gave me a lecture rather than support. No matter if I was right or wrong, you my spouse. You the two of cups. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like this person turned their back on their spouse because shit didn't go right. And that's when you, that's when the commitment is tested. All right? Because loyalty never fall. I don't give a fuck what it is. All right? You think if my man's been telling me something in the bed and as soon as we get to an argument, I'm telling nobody. This shit that I never, ever, and will never, everything that was private with me and my person, I would never tell. All right? And that's on grandson. <laughs> but here you got somebody that took a lot of shit and now got their own feelings and their own shit and their own hands because when they did get, go for support in the union they didn't get it they got ridiculed they got told what they should never did instead of healing all right look and now because of that because of that Somebody, right? Remember what I said? Somebody kept going to somebody for healing. Maybe love. We don't know what it is. I don't know what y'all go through in y'all relationship, but I know y'all rely on each other for love. All right? But instead, this person, every time this person went to this person for love, they got ridiculed like a motherfucker. They felt like they was on the stand. You hear me? They felt like every time they got caught up out there, maybe, you know, we, couples go through shit. Only the, the strong survive. And I'm not talking about years. I'm talking about understanding. All right? So every time this person went to their partner, guess how their partner come in? Like a motherfucking judge, ready, very, very immature, ready to, to argue and not know all the information. That's the page of swords. The page of swords is ready to speak and not really done all they work. They still immature. They haven't learned all they need to learn, but they're so eager to speak. All right. So there was a lot of times where this page of swords put this person in a five of cups when they needed them, when they needed them. Because if you don't, if you can't go to your spouse with the good and the bad, who the fuck is you going to go to? And why the fuck are you calling that a spouse? So every time this person went for love, they got shot down. They got shot down and it made them want to cheat even more. So now they probably grew and it manifested in them to hold back their feelings. And for a lot of you guys, when this happens to a masculine, when every time they go pull out their heart or they do something wrong and they get really, really cute instead of, you know, helped in a different way. They manifest into like really not liking women or they manifest into cheating on women because they feel like women's a piece of shit. I'm telling you, I got a son and a daughter. All right. So now this man might, may have manifested into not even really deserving love. He feel like he don't really deserve love because he don't trust no woman. Every woman in his life always judged him and ridiculed him and, and put him on a stand rather than being on a stand with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. I'm sorry, me and my person, maybe shut up. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to handle what the fuck we got to handle in the house. There's no reason, collective, why anybody outside of your house know your business. I don't give a fuck about the kids, anybody. That's y'all because guess what? When y'all make up nine times out of ten, now y'all going to feel embarrassed going out as a couple because everybody know y'all business. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. All right? So that's why it's very important. And it's very important if a masculine and a woman is coming to you, like, with some shit. And, you know, like, I always tell my person, like, tell me the truth. Like, tell me the truth. Like, I don't care if it hurt me. Give me an option to choose. Don't take that option away from you, um, away from me. And guess what? Tell me the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least give me the option to choose. You know what I'm saying? But that creates a better bond. All right? Where now, this masculine... Probably know he fucked up. All right. And he going to want to tell you. And if he don't tell you, you going to find out anyway because you know you're masculine. So it's everything's in a balance out. It's all the way how you're perceiving and how you're emotionally handling things. All right. Because nine times out of ten, you already know things. All right. As a, as a divine feminine, we get that intuition. So now this masculine, 
um, took his, the matters in his own hands because every time he came to talk about a relationship, he literally got backlash and felt left out in the cold. He got, he got torn apart, got caught broke, got caught asshole, got caught bad health. And he really felt left out in the cold. But not no more. You know? You got to be mindful about when people opening up your heart. No matter if you're a divine feminine or, woman or, or masculine. Because you don't know where people come from. You don't know how hard it was for somebody to open up and be like, yo, I cheated. You know what I'm saying? Like, or I did something and I should have never did it. You got to hear somebody out. You got to hear their intentions and then you can have an option. But how the fuck you going to have an option to choose if you're not even trying to hear nobody out? Everybody not going to like what I just said. But you got to hear somebody out if you really... Because how the fuck you going to make a decision? All right? They cheated. All you hear is cheating. Right? And then... Because bitches cheat too. You hear me? So all you hear is cheating. Then you, you want to flip the script. You don't even want to hear why you're planning to cheat. And so that way maybe it was something that you did. And maybe it was something... That was lacking in a relationship. And yet you could correct that. Period. We have to be adults about certain things, guys. I'm telling you. If we want to claim these adult relationships and kingdom spouses and spirituality. We got to be prepared to work things out. Or just have the option to choose and hearing things out. That's all I'm saying. And right now, somebody took that option away. Because they kept get, getting judged and um lectured like a child. Spirit, tell me more about why this person is sad, this Five of Cups. Look, fighting. Fighting. It came out in reverse. So this person probably kept coming to this person like, I don't want to fight no more. Like, I don't want to fight. If we got to split up, I don't want to fight. Whatever it is, I don't want to fight. But every time this person kept telling them that, they kept getting backlash. They kept getting a family involved. They kept just having to validate themselves. So they packed their shit. They went to the two of wands. Okay. Tell me why is this five of wands here with the sadness? Look, and this is justice. All right. They wanted to bring balance in their life. You know, like after a period of time where people arguing or people cheating or we in a relationship, like motherfuckers want to tell you the truth, believe it or not. The only reason why motherfuckers don't tell you the truth is because they scared. I'm telling y'all. Y'all, like, I know I, I just want you because I keep I keep bringing back to my situation because I want y'all to know it happened. OK, so. My person cheated before. I may have cheated before, but I feel very, very powerful and encouraged to even tell my story to you guys and let y'all know, like, you could get past certain things because, believe it or not, I'm going to own up to it, y'all. I was lacking in certain areas as a divine feminine when it came to my masculine. I was lacking. I was lacking in a couple of things. And I took that opportunity to ask why. And believe it or not, you smoke if you smoke or whatever. And you talk about things. And I understood why they was acting like that. No funny shit. I'm not going to say it loud. And I fixed it. And when I fixed it, y'all. I'm telling you guys, I never had a problem with anything after that because I was secure within myself. So now if I would have took the time to listen and felt like he was in the wrong all the way and there wasn't no way I could fix it, then that's a problem. You know, because I'm not about to fix nothing with me. That's not that's not supposed to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you got to get me there. But when I narrowed down the situation and took my judgment out of it and just really looked at it from, from his point of view, I was really in a room. You know what I'm saying? And when I admit that, and then that makes him feel comfortable with admitting certain shit that he never even admitted. You know what I'm saying? And it's just if you have a relationship, this is not going to be for everybody. I get it. But if you have a relationship where you where you have a relationship like that and you have an opportunity where you have an option to be truthful no matter the outcome, I bet you nine times out of ten, even if y'all break up or not, that man or that woman is going to respect you. 
Nobody respect a liar. And even if you lie to keep somebody from not being hurt, that's still disrespectful. So I just hope that y'all um, understand that. But somebody is bringing justice. Tell me why is there justice here? Look, Ace of Cobbs. What I just said, it's balance needed to be restored when it comes to two people discussing their problems, discussing their thoughts, putting on a label, and they can't even really carry out the requirements to that label as a spouse. This love is not no fake shit. Like, y'all got to stop playing with people's hearts because just because you married, just because you involved, just because it don't matter. I could, You could meet somebody for a week and that person could love you, y'all. More than you will ever know. It's not about history, y'all. History repeats itself. It's about how you are creating change for the next generation. And if it's you have to break generational curses, wouldn't you be proud of that? Wouldn't you be finally proud that you are the first one in the family to really get married? I'm not talking about a title. I'm talking about a loving partnership. I'm talking about support where you can laugh, where you can be yourself. Where most importantly, you could tell the truth. This is divine love. The, the, the divine is balancing out somebody's situation with love. Okay, what are you doing? Get, come here. Go in the cage. Um, tell me more about this love spirit and it's justice. Because it's justice because somebody been wanting to stop the argument, y'all. What is this love and it's justice? Look, it's a new opportunity to start off clean. It went from the five of Get the... Get... Come here. Come here. Go in the cage. It went from the five of wands to the one. This is a brand new opportunity at a really, really loving partnership, y'all. Look, something that they always dreamed about. What is this two of wands? This person... This person let it go. They let it go. Look, they let it go. They know. This person ran into their soulmate already, y'all. So to have to deal with being belittled or being accused or being forgiven and then unforgiven and then they find true love, they gonna leave. Because now somebody is actually giving them the energy that they need instead of a lecture. That's true love that's here. You got the lovers with the ace of cups and justice. That's justice. Look, and it you know why? Because y'all been working hard at it. That's why. Y'all been working hard at it. What is this five of pentacles? Left out in a cold. Look. And now look, see? They left the masculine out in the cold when they had the chance to help them. However that may be for them. And now look who left out in the cold. Them. It's like what you do to others, especially in a relationship. If you can't be loyal to nobody, even when you feel like, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, say if my masculine cheat on me, right? And I go back and cheat on him. Or I go back and tell everybody our fucking business because he cheated on me. Guess what? I'm going to get karma. Because, you know why? Because I'm held just as a motherfucking high standard like him. You know what I'm saying? And I have the free will. I have the free will to understand that that man is not for me and leave. But what we're not going to do is cheat, tick, tick for tat. That's what we're not going to do because then you discredit yourself. And then what we're not going to do is tell everybody business. Like, why would you want to do that it's when you have the free will to leave? And that's why I always be telling my person, like, even if you did something, just give me my free will to choose. Because you don't know if I'm not going to choose. But don't be selfish and take that opportunity away from me. And that's one of the things I like about my person. And I love y'all.